Welcome to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. I'm Dan Sweeney. I'm here in front of the Atlantis building. Now today we are going to be doing a really cool experiment using chemical reactions. They're called chemical rockets. What we're going to do is we're going to mix together a solid and a liquid, mix them together and they're going to create a gaseous byproduct or a gas. As that gas builds up it's going to create a lot of pressure within our system and it's going to cause the lid of our container to pop off and create a rocket. Now we have a couple of different chemicals we're going to use for this. We're going to try creating three separate rockets. So the first rocket we're going to create today is our baking soda and vinegar rocket. Now today we're going to be using a film canister but as long as you guys have a container at home that has a pop lid that allow it to launch up whenever all of the chemicals react and force this thing up then you guys will be fine but we don't want you using any screw top lids because those won't come off whenever the reaction is finished make sense all right let's keep moving forward first we're going to take the lid off and we're going to fill this container halfway up with vinegar now, the reason we're only filling it halfway is because we want to leave room in the container for the carbon dioxide to fill up and to pop that top. Next up, we're going to be putting in a tablespoon of baking soda, but we want this to be time release, so that way I can get out of the way before it launches. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it into this paper towel here. Take a tablespoon, make sure to squish it against the side into the middle. Now we are going to roll this baking soda up in the paper towel. We're going to put it in. You guys ready? Three, two, woo! That was our first rocket. For our next chemical rocket plan, we are going to be using an effervescent tablet. Again, our film canister, or if you have anything with a pop top lid, and water. What we're going to start with is by filling this container about halfway up with water. Now, usually you can use about a quarter to a half of an effervescent tablet, but today I'm going to be using the whole thing because, well, why not, right? So, we're going to go ahead and pop this in. We're going to put the top on and flip it over. Three, two, one. All right, now we're going to take a quick step back. We're going to wait. This one reacts a little slower than our baking soda and vinegar, so we are going to have a bit more of a buildup and possibly a bit more. More of a pop as it lands in our tree. That's our second rocket. All right, team, for our last experiment, for our chemical reactions, we're actually going to see how well the carbon dioxide from water in our effervescent tablet fills up a balloon. Now, we use more than just a half little piece like this. We've actually got about two whole pieces of effervescent tablet in here. But what we would do is we would break it into pieces like this and push it into our balloon, being careful not to break it. Secondly, we're going to go ahead and blow this up so that way it's already pre-stretched. So that way we can get a full and accurate reading of just how much carbon dioxide is going in this. There we go. It's ready. So the reason we're keeping the tablets in here is because we don't want to immediately stick them in the water and then try to fill this on there because we would let some of the carbon dioxide go. So what we're going to do is once we get this over the top, we are going to dump in our tablet. Now again, there's a lot in here, so it's going to take me a little bit of time. But for you guys, using much, much less, it's going to take no time at all. There we go. And it's starting to fizz. Now we had the water bottle at a little over half way filled so that way there'd be more room at the top to fill up the gas and that way it will be forced into our balloon. 
Now this is a little over two tablets, as I said again. So it's growing pretty big compared to some of the other ones I've seen. Some of them don't fill up a whole lot at all, but this one is really, really getting a lot of that gas. All right, it looks like it's coming to the end of the experiment. Very cool. As you guys can see, compared to how much carbon dioxide was created here, how small of a container we were using before, it's no wonder how high these things got to launch. Now I'm gonna remind you guys, whenever you're doing these, make sure to back up when they launch. You do not wanna be standing over top of it because we don't want anyone getting hurt. And remember, I'm Dan Sweeney. Keep looking up.